What's up, y'all? It's your boy DSD, and we're here with another edition of our YouTube. And today we got the report about Urban Meyer, and it's new, it's hot, it's off the press, and let's just say it's really bad. Let's talk about it on the other side. What's up, y'all? So we're here doing another edition of the YouTube, and let's just say this story about Urban Meyer is crazy. And I think it's safe to say at this point that Urban Meyer might be the worst coach in the history of the NFL. So let's start by saying that there was a lot of things that came up with Urban Meyer that could have been false, could have been fabricated, because we know how these things work. When someone goes down, people want to kick them while they're down and pile on and get some stuff that you're not totally sure is true. So all of this is just reported. And obviously, what's guaranteed these days, because you never really know but overall nothing has been confirmed outside of just reporting so take that as as you may urban meyer's tenure on jacksonville was horrifically bad i mean the worst you could possibly imagine basically a nightmare for all parties and it went just bad i mean nothing else to say there was no goods there was nothing positive this report that i'm going to be reading later on is from the athletics so thank you for those guys because that was a great report because it's something that you're like how is this even possible this man was an NFL coach and didn't know these things. So I'm going to give you the Urban Meyer timeline from day one till now so you can kind of get an idea of how horrifically bad this man was. Buckle your seats. I got the full sheet together. Drink some coffee and we'll do this together. Okay, Urban Meyer timeline. January 14, 2021, Urban Meyer gets hired. And then here's where things go down the second he gets hired. On February 12, 2021, Chris Doyle resigns after hiring. Chris Doyle was a former Iowa strength and conditioning coach and literally that last summer, he had to resign from his job there because of bullying and harassing and racism. So however you want to slice that, I'm not totally sure about the allegations, but Urban Meyer hired that guy. Next, May 20th, 2021, he signs Tim Tebow as a tight end. Now, this one blew up in his face immensely because as much as everyone loves Tim Tebow, there's a lot of people who hate Tim Tebow too. He basically takes a tight end's position away from someone else. I do think that Tim Tebow, if he like grew up as a tight end, he'd be really good, but he wasn't. He was a quarterback. So basically his boy, Urban Meyer, I was trying to take care of him, brought him in. If you guys remember, Tim Tebow was on like the AAA Mets for a while. It was just a weird situation. So overall, it was a bad move. And then he gets cut later that year because he stinks. July 1st, 2021, Jags were fined 200,000. Meyer was fined 100,000 for violating rules governing off-season practices. Whatever the rules were at that time because of the pandemic, they violated them, they got hammered. So this is like four things that happened within the first summer of Urban Meyer being there. Next, October 4th, Urban Meyer apologized for being a distraction for that video that surfaced. Now, this was the doozy. This is the video that, that I'm talking about where he is at that bar where like a young girl is dancing on him. She was probably 20 and he's in his 50s. So, and he's married. That's the first problem. Next problem is that it was in an Ohio bar. He was well known that bar because he was, what, was a coach at Ohio State and they were at the Bengals which is in Ohio. He doesn't fly back with the team. He goes to the bar and hangs out with all of his people who are like 20 years old. So the team flies back to Jackson you know, with their tails between their legs because I don't know, they just lost to the Bengals and they're going to go home and prepare for the next game. But I guess Urban Meyer goes to a local bar and just chops it up for the night. Not a great look. December 11th. Reports surfaced that Urban Meyer called his assistants losers and was involved with the player dispute. The night before the Texas game, he decided to get into an argument with his coaches and, and told them that they were losers. <laughs> I mean, like, what are you doing, dude? And then that same time frame, NFL Network reports that he got into a heated argument with Marvin Jones and they were like screaming at each other. Okay. Then on December 13th, Sean Codd came out, who's the owner of the Jaguars, and he said he won't rush into a decision with Urban Meyer because he didn't want to fire him because it would have looked knee jerky. Then December 15th, 2021 was basically an axe in the coffin for uh, Mr. Urban Meyer. Reportedly, ex Jags kicker Josh Lambo says that Urban Meyer kicked him. <laughs> Oh my God. Lambo missed two kicks in the both exhibition games in the preseason. Lambo's telling the story. So Lambo says, I'm in a lunge position, left leg forward, right leg back. And Urban Meyer goes up to him and says, hey, dip bleed, make your effing kicks and kicked him in the leg. Well, we don't know how hard that kick was, but it was a kick nonetheless. So that was the ax in the coffin for our guy. December 16th, 2021, Urban Meyer was canned. And that was the end of Urban Meyer. The key to all this is that he had a generational quarterback with all of this as well. Almost ruined the kid. He made me ruined. You never know with Trevor Lawrence. He could actually be ruined. When he was fired, the Jags were 2-11 and and they were a disaster. So yeah, worst team in the league. So overall, disaster. I mean, just couldn't have gone worse for the guy. Horrible. You know, you think that it's over. Finally, people are going to be able to move on. Uh, uh, 
uh, they came through with another bombshell that them being the athletic and just dropped this absolute nuke on the social media world this is a direct cut from the athletic signs of dysfunction were apparent early on several sources says that urban stepped into the job as if he had all the answers even though he never coached in the nfl urban said he conducted a six-month deep dive on the nfl that included interviews with his former florida and ohio state players as well as a study on the salary cap but multiple sources this is where it gets crazy said that urban was unfamiliar with star players around the league including 49ers receiver debo samuel seahawks safety jamal adams and rams defensive tackle aaron donald a three-time nfl defensive player of the year and now super bowl champion this is a direct quote from all these sources who's this 99 guy on the rams meyer asks one staffer during the season according to a source i'm hearing he might be a problem for us yeah urban he might be a problem receiver dj chark who signed with the lions last week after spending the first four years of his career Career with the Jaguars said Myers routinely threatened to fire coaches and cut players he feels like threats are what motivates Chark said all I know is when he would come up to us and tell us that if the receivers weren't doing good he wasn't gonna fire us he was gonna fire our coaches he would usually say that when the coach was around dysfunction Here's another direct cut from Mr. Urban Meyer. And do you know what would happen if I cut you guys, Urban said, according to four people in the room? You couldn't get a job paying more than $15 an hour. The implication that his players were capable of little more than playing football left some angry and others offended. I lost all respect for him after that, a veteran player said in the room. And this right here is the final act. Not long after veteran John Brown signed with the Jaguars as a free agent, he ran the wrong route in practice. To correct the mistake, Brown, who is from Florida, and rookie quarterback Trevor Lawrence ran through the route again after practice. Meyer walked up to the pair. Hey Trevor, you gotta slow it down for him, Meyer said according to sources. These boys from the South, their transcripts ain't right. I just described one of the <laughs> most disrespectful things you could say to someone. I am shocked that there hasn't been more situations with Urban Meyer, maybe just because he was a bully in college he was able just to get away with all of it so he just you know won and no one said anything there is no way that all of this is not true maybe some of it's fabricated it could be i'm not telling you it's not but i'll tell you for sure this man was the worst coach in nfl history and i'm not sure if there's anything even close that's it y'all if you enjoyed this video please subscribe down below because we got a lot more of these coming talk to you guys soon